Hello, welcome to my suite on the Riverside Revel. So this is the Seahorse Suite. It's roughly about 237 square feet. It's one of six suites on board this ship. And uh, we are sailing in the south of France with Riverside Luxury Cruises, a brand new river cruise company. So let's do a little tour. I wanna go ahead and just start in the bathroom because I think that's a place that most cruise ships are usually very tiny to the point of you, the cameraman may not be able to fit in there, but I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So come in. All right, so now not all suites have the double sink, but the Seahorse does. As you can see, we got double sinks here. And of course, all the little amenities and products you might need while you're sailing. The thing that I was actually just talking about this with a friend, AKA the cameraman, Harry, that he said, have you ever seen a shower like this? And I'll be completely honest with you. These, I'm not gonna do it now because I don't wanna get wet, but you literally press a button, you turn it to your heat temperature. It's almost instantaneous, but it's one of the best showers I've ever experienced. No joke, I mean, 10 out of 10, great shower. Um, other than that, if you have, let's say your dop kit or all the things you got, deodorant, cologne, stuff like that, there's a shelf here, you can put all that stuff, or if you like to hide it away, there's plenty of areas to do that. You've got, of course, tissues, extra toilet paper. They're gonna swap out your towels every day. You can also tell them not to if you're trying to save some energy. You got all the stuff you need, and of course your tenant, your, your attendant will take care of that for you. You also have a butler but they're not gonna be taking care of that for you. They get, you know, like anything you need, like a spa treatment or stuff like that. Now the closet, before we get into the bedding area, the living area, closet is pretty important. When you go on a trip, you wanna make sure that you have enough room for your clothes. You're at a nicer venue, you're gonna be with, you know, dress shirts, some dress pants, maybe a, a dress or two. You're gonna want a lot of space for that, especially if you're traveling with a plus one. If you look in the closet, not only is it a walk-in closet that you can shut and hide away all your, you know, valuables and stuff like that, Plenty of hangers, which of course, if this isn't enough, your butler will get you more. You've got a safe to put your valuables when you're traveling, maybe your passport. You don't need that out when you're traveling, you know, enjoying France and eating wine and cheese. Just bring your money, of course. And you've got plenty of place to put your clothes, you know, t-shirts, shorts, you name it, all this area. Of course, if you want to walk around a robe, don't really recommend it. No one really wants to see that. But if you're going to the spa, like I am later today, you've got two robes. Let's talk about the table. The table, I, don't, I have vanity, I don't know what you'd call this, but basically plenty of space. I do work when I'm traveling, so it's great for me. I can set my laptop up, all my equipment, charging it all day long, because I'm filming and taking photos. My equipment's dying constantly. My phone's dying all the time as well. You've got a nice little coffee maker, though I recommend going down to the bistro and getting coffee. But you know, if you, if you don't want to leave your room, you've got all that right here, which is really nice. Of course, no luxury cruise would be without a fridge. Now, right now you see some soda, you see some waters, but your butler, if you say, hey, I want some vodka, I want a champagne, some wine, they can put that in for you and store it for you anytime. So that's really nice. I actually forget what's in here, hold on. Oh, right. Well, you can't drink wine without a wine glass. So there you go. They stock that up, they clean it for you. There's even a bottle opener. I actually got a bottle today in France when it, one of the stops here. So I'm gonna be opening that tonight, maybe before dinner, maybe get a glass before I share it with my friends. You know what I mean? This is just something to mention. Like I said, plenty of storage, plenty of storage. You've got, of course, information about the cruise itself, room service menu, but I actually put a bunch of my cables and some of my equipment in here just to hide it away. One thing I wanna talk about, I'm not gonna show you too, too much because it's just plugs, it's not that exciting, but there are USB plugs, not USB-C, but classic USB uh, plugs throughout the, the actual, the room. So plenty of charging space. You gotta buy the bed, you've got it at the desk, you only have one North American outlet, or at least from what I can see, one's actually being used over here, I believe. I believe there's only one, but there's a ton of European outlets. So if you're not from this area and you don't have European plugs, get the converters before you get here. Another thing I wanted to mention, and these are super important. <clears throat> when you go on an excursion, you're gonna want one of these because assuming you don't speak the language and you wanna hear the did you hear that bell? Did you hear that out there? Something's going on out there. But if, you, if you're on a tour, you're gonna wanna listen to the tour guide. For so today, obviously we're in France. You know, they speak English, but they're gonna do their best. And a lot of times you're far away, you can't really hear them. So you're gonna want one of these. These come standard in the room. They charge in this little charge port. They come with earphones. You really don't need anything on these trips. That's truly the all-inclusive experience. Um, but yeah, that's really nice. Oh, lastly, sorry, one thing. This is actually really cool. They give you binoculars. I mean, you're not gonna really be able to see. I'll show Harry, take a look at this. So obviously you can see right now, 
This is my window. I get to look outside. So I literally could just sit here all day, drink coffee, maybe some wine, and using binoculars to look out, take photos, all that stuff. Which brings me to my next point. I'm gonna put these here. So inside of every room, you've got this little button here. Now this button, what it's gonna do, it's gonna actually bring down the window. Now I don't wanna do it right now just because I don't know if we're going through another lock because you gotta shut the window when you're going through locks. But this guy right here will lower the window. Turn down the window, get some fresh air. Just make sure when you leave the room to put it up, the captain will yell at you. One of our friends might not be doing that on time, but I'm not gonna name any names. Um, over here, I mean, don't really need to mention this, but I actually don't know full transparency. I don't know if this comes standard, I think it does. But they give you a nice little welcome champagne when you get in here. Ask for some ice from your butler and they'll hook you up. The bed. Also full transparency. I don't know the thread count. I don't know the name of the bed. But I can tell you this. I've done tons of cruises. Luxury cruises, non-luxury cruises. Easily one of the most comfortable beds, truly. One of the most comfortable beds I've ever laid on. It can split up into two. If you got two people that maybe isn't your significant other, you can have the butler split it up for you. I believe all rooms have that access. I don't see why not. Um, and yeah, of course you got two side tables too, which, you know, I told you there's plugs, there's lighting. Here, I'll show you this. If you're a little book reader at night, don't want to interrupt your partner, nice little personal light. I don't want to move the pillows, but you can see a little personal light, light up your book. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory, but honestly, a super comfortable setting for you to enjoy your river cruise. And the best thing about the specifically the seahorse, because each room's a little different, the seahorse suite, of course, is laying in this bed here, you get to look at wherever you're at. In this case, like I said, we're in the south of France. So yeah, not a bad suite. Hey, this is Editor Joe here. Um, I have to create this video because uh, some of my footage when I was on the river cruise got deleted and I can't find it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. More videos to come. This is what happens, right?